AQA, A level physics, diffraction. And this is the bit of the specification we're going to be looking at. So, what is diffraction? Well, uh, here are some wave fronts. Now, they are plane wave fronts on the left, and they're going through a slit. And what's happening is that they are diffracting. And in this particular case, what we're getting is looks very much like circular wave fronts. So the plane wave fronts go through uh, an aperture. An aperture uh, could be like a slit or a, a circular hole, uh, basically a gap. And the waves bend around the corners. And this is called diffraction. When waves pass through an aperture or around the corners of an obstacle, they bend round the corners. Why this happens, you don't need to know about something called Huygens principle, but uh, it happens. Now, single slit diffraction. Uh, if I get a laser and I shine it through a single slit, don't confuse this with Young's double slit. OK, this is just one single slit. And on a screen uh, over there, we get a single slit diffraction pattern. Uh, and it's basically the thing that we're interested in. There is a central maximum. OK, there's this wide bit in the middle. Then it goes dark. Then it starts getting a little bit bright again. If you look at the graph below, the graph you don't need to know, it says in the syllabus. But there's this wide central maximum. And uh, this maximum becomes wider if we make the slit narrower. Uh, or if we use a, a bigger wavelength. So, for example, a red would have a, a wider diffraction pattern than if we used a green laser. So there's a wide central maximum and the width of the maximum depends on the wavelength and it depends on the size of the slit. This is a diffraction grating. And it's lots and lots and lots of slits. If you look, 300 lines per millimeter, that's a lot of slits. OK, now when monochromatic light, monochromatic means it's one color, one wavelength, passes through a diffraction grating, what we get are very bright maxima at very definite angles. In between the maxima, everything else cancels. Everything else is destructive. But at certain angles, we get very, very bright maxima because all of the waves go through these slits. They diffract lots and lots of interference, very bright maxima, everything else destructive. And this is the equation that you need to know. D sine theta equals N lambda. Uh, D is the slit separation theta is the angle for a particular order, whether it's the first order, the second order, etc. The number of the maximum. Uh, N is the order, uh, lambda is the wavelength. Now, an important note, the slit separation. If I had, let's say, 300 lines per millimeter, then how far apart are the slits? Well, the way I think about it, 300 lines per millimeter, so you've got 300,000 lines per meter, so you've got one over 300,000 meters per line. So if 300 lines per millimeter, so one over 300,000, which is 3.33 times 10 to the minus six meters, you will be asked to do that little calculation to work out the slit separation. So here's a, an example for you to have a go at. Uh, stop the video, pen, paper, calculator. And the answer is, there you go, 2.93 degrees. How many orders are possible? This is quite a common question. Well, the maximum value of theta is 90 degrees. If you're bending round a corner, you can't bend round a corner more than 90 degrees. So uh, sine 90 equals 1. So if you put sine theta equals 1 in the equation and then get the value of n, and if you get a value of, let's say, 19.5, then 19 orders are possible.
in this particular example. Diffraction gratings uh, are used to measure the wavelength of light is the main use for them, uh, which is very important. Uh, now, spectroscopy means looking at the spectra. In atomic physics, you will know that different elements emit and absorb certain wavelengths, which is all to do with energy levels. So if you excite a substance, like maybe stick it in a Bunsen flame, it gives off light. If you look at the wavelengths of the light that it emits with a spectroscope, uh, you can figure out what it's made of. So that's chemical analysis. It's very, very important in astronomy. In astronomy, uh, we look at the spectra of stars and from the spectrum of the light, we can figure out what the stars are made of. You actually need to be able to derive this uh, n lambda equals d sine theta. And here's just a, a kind of a simple derivation. And basically, look at the top diagram. I'll get the old uh, pen out. On the top diagram, at this particular angle here, let's say that's the first order. So the zero order is the straight through position. Now, for the first order maximum, that means that all of these waves are a wavelength. Uh, the path difference is a wavelength. So uh, that distance, if I drop a perpendicular from there to there, drop a perpendicular, then that little gap there is a wavelength because that's the path difference between adjacent slits. So I've made it a bit bigger here. And if we look at this triangle here, and from what I've just said, uh, this is a right angle. This is the slit separation D. Uh, this is the path difference lambda. Okay, this is my angle here, theta, because it's the same as this angle here. Okay, and you should see that in this case, for the first order, lambda equals d sine theta. And for the second order, it would be two lambda equals d sine theta, and then three lambda, etc., etc. So n lambda equals d sine theta. Or in AQA, you say d sine theta equals n lambda for some weird reason. <laughs> 